Welcome back to The Hardline. I'm Rick Blackwell in for Ed Berliner. Possibly one of the biggest issues facing America today, a lack of understanding of the political system. Richard Dreyfus, Academy Award winning actor and founder of the Dreyfus Civics Initiative, a nonprofit designed to promote civics education in American schools. Join The Hardline's Ed Berliner and discuss how that lack of understanding can endanger Americans in a very serious way. We have no idea about the meaning of this country, and this country does have meaning and can be taught. We don't teach it. And the problem is that now there's a clock on us, and that is that ISIS is coming. And I'm not joking. ISIS is coming to the United States, and it's already hit in Tennessee. What are we going to do when ISIS causes some incredible catastrophe like walking into Disney World with 45 handguns and killing a thousand children. Are we going to consider only a military option to a, con to a, a, an, a foe that crosses national lines? What are we going to do? We don't train ourselves to run the country well. The present state of running the country, the politicians of today, we have no faith in. We have no belief in, and the ones that will come after will be even um, more uneducated, and politics has become a step down. We can't continue that way, or else we will be history. What don't we get about this? Are we just destined to be lemmings following what we're told or are we simply just so wrapped up in watching what the Kardashians do on a day-to-day -day basis and checking out our cell phones that we're not smart enough look I can't believe that we're not a smart country but it sure seems that way I think that we're too um, much the victims of special interests who have local goals so that they can't see the forest for the trees there's corporations or belief systems or whoever that think in terms of this far and we get so crowded with things like that we can't see the long term and the long term is what we have to consider you have to remember this the com the relationship that you and I are having right now the conversation seems normal mm -hmm. it's only 250 years old and in all the years of civilization before that no one ever had a conversation like this except in whispers okay so for the entire history of mankind no one ever had an open conversation about politics until now and it's in the blink of an eye and it can go away like that how do we then you and I and specifically through what you're doing with the civics initiative convince people that they are not powerless that they have a voice and that they can break through this this maze if you will this fog of nothing more than lies and rhetoric they have to get together they have to get parents and superintendents and school principals and authors of history and authors of social comment all together every civic organization in the united states and there are hundreds of them all should be under one umbrella wanting one thing no matter what the details of differences are there should be one cultural demand not for a class called civics but for a perception on america and the ideals it represents we were known as the only nation in history that was connected only by ideas and if those ideas are not taught we're not bound and we're not because those ideas of the enlightenment that back up the Bill of Rights are not being taught to us. 30 seconds, Richard. Is the current spate of politicians doing more damage than good? Yes, they're doing more damage than good. <laughs> <laughs> they're funnier. They're far funnier than in the past. <laughs> okay, now yeah. you've opened the door. I gotta ask then, when you look at them, who's the funniest one that you see, or the one that gives you the most entertainment? Well, at the moment, <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for Donald Trump and his hair to both uh, an announce separate candidacies. And uh, I don't know, the Democrats are beginning to look like Gloria Swanson in Sunset <laughs> Boulevard. So they're all pretty nutty, and I wouldn't trust them with my wallet, much less my, the future of my children. 
There he is, Richard Dreyfus. Can you believe that the movie Jaws was in cinemas back in 1975? It was 40 years ago. At the time, Dreyfus played the character Matt Hooper as a 27-year-old actor, and now at 67, a concerned American talking to our Ed Berliner. Now, tell us what you think. What's the one thing American children should be taught in schools? Find us on Facebook and Twitter. And we're going to have much more on some of your feedback, some of your comments. Again, what should be the emphasis when it comes to educating our children? Obviously, Richard Dreyfus has his own opinions, but we want to hear from you. And coming up next, conservative comedy. It's far from being an oxymoron. We're going to talk to a conservative comedian straight ahead on The Hardline. <laughs> 